This is our uh, white doyen pear, and it looks like the uh, buds are also a little bit on the early side. Um, but as I said, time will tell. There's the row of uh, pear trees going off in the distance. This here is our white doyen, and it's loaded with blossoms. It's just impressive how many blossoms are on this tree. It's got some height grew a lot last year during sort of an off year with fruit so it has some fluctuation to its fruit production but it's going to be marvelous uh, this year and then I'll look down our pear row White Doyen Pear. The White Doyen Pear, June 11th, 2016. This is our unknown pear tree, originally billed as a Bosque, but uh, the pears look more like an Anjou, and it seems to have flowers primarily at the tips of its branches. Pretty consistent on all these different branches, so it must be something inherent in uh, this particular uh, variety. Uh, so we'll see what kind of crop we get again this year. Unknown pair, probably Anjou pair. Unknown pair, probably Anjou pair, June 11th, 2016. This here is um, our moon glow pear tree. Um, it's on a quince rootstock, so it's going to grow short that has been planted here along this trellis, uh, I'm gonna convert it into an espalier. Um, this is, this plant uh, was planted not last spring, but the spring before. And look at this, it's got uh, some blooms coming out. This is the first set of blooms that this uh, tree has had. I really do want this tree to grow some more so I can uh, lay it along uh, the wires here and stretch out the limbs in a two-dimensional fan. But, um, I'm also curious to see what kind of fruit it has this year, so I'm sort of stuck with deciding whether I want to cut out the fruit and let the tree grow or see what some of the fruit looks like at the expense of maybe some growth this year. So moon glow pear. Moonglow pear. The Moonglow pear, June 11th, 2016.
Red Bartlett or Red Williams Bon Chrétien. Green Bartlett.